Robert in Midvale, Utah. See more better with free prescription lenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm maybe seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with Photo Fusion Extra Gray and the Blue Flash Mirror 4. What frame could this be? There could only be one. It is the, oop, turn it around, Ray-Ban 4105, which is the folding Wayfarer, color 601, which is the shiny black and the 54 eye size. Now there's a 601S, which stands for the satin matte black, but this is the shiny one. Let me take everything out of the original packaging. Of course, you got your Ray-Ban cleaning cloth down in here. The only thing I wish they would do differently, this is almost the size of a beeper. I wish they would put like a little belt strap on there so you can carry this on your, on your belt. And make it look like a beeper on there but that's for us old school people who know what a beeper is but let me take everything out it comes with hey come on now there it is <laughs> the g15 sticker that was on the lens that rubbed off when it was on there but this is the folding wayfarer comes with two plastic sleeves on the temples and i'm going to put that on there when i ship to you and again this is the RB4105, color 601, the 54 eye size. If you don't believe me, it's the folding Wayfair. It's got it written right there. Now, when you open and close it, you got to use the, go old school and use the 70 martial arts special effects sounds. Whoopsh, 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 whoopsh. <laughs> so, yes, I do like coffee. Why do you ask? Could I have another cup? I'm not jacked enough as it is. Okay, so. Now, Robert is, is my new best friend. Before I could even make these, he purchased the Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon with uh, the PhotoFusion Blue lenses and the DuraVision Blue Protect, just like I wear in one of my frames. I've got my Ray-Bans on in this video. I'm going to wear those, my Oakleys, when I do his, but he's already got someone. He works with a company of about 30 people. He's already got someone who's interested in another brand I'm wearing. I told him I'm going to make him a vice president of my Southwest U.S. sales division. So, the first thing i got to do is cuss and moan and take out the original glass lenses, which, yeah, are never easy. So, I'm going to use a ton of heat. That's why I keep this over here. I'm going to use a cleaning cloth. Now, I don't get use heat to put the lenses in, but I will use heat to get them out. Usually, I have this done in advance, but I decided to go ahead and show everything that is involved. Let's see if it'll work this time. I'm using a cleaning cloth because these lenses get so hot, I have to put so much heat on them. Ooh, yeah, okay. So, it makes the plastic a little bit more pliable. And of course, you're going to receive all the manufacturer's original packaging from the frame to the lenses to everything. Now, once they're out, I like to take a little bit of cleaner. Ray-Ban uses a little bit of an adhesive glue when they put the lenses in there. And I just like to clean that out before I trace. Uno, dos, now trace. Robert will get that joke. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else will. So... Let's go ahead and program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2633. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home and you'll see how to install them. These are going to be a, very hard to install. These are the heavy glass lenses. Let me put your little G15 sticker back on there. And uh, But you'll be able to do the replacement lenses years from now when you ever need new ones. Hit the start button, a little stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Ray-Ban frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear, single vision prescription or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance, you will get your out-of-network reimbursement. I also take health savings account flex dollars. And look at this, it's even got the Ray-Ban on the, on the hinge. That's pretty cool where it folds at. Got it written right there. Of course, this one is made in Italy. Can you see that through the, the shininess of the lights? Now, 
This is the 54 eye size. This is the larger. It's not available in every color. The 50 eye size has got one or two more colors to choose from. Move on to the next screen where you add your pupillary distance of 33.5. I'm going to tap the plus button twice to get to 33.5. The computer starts at 24. I'm actually going to raise the optical center up to about 25. Change the layout screen to progressive. And actually, you know what? Time out. I want to try something new. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm glad I did that. I've got some graphs, some charts, some little tools. And I want to see exactly how this would look. And I got everything lined up on where progressive should go. And it's actually going to be 27 millimeters. So I'm glad I did that. All you haters out there who uh, want to see how I do things. I need some new haters because the other ones are sending me friend requests. And asking me for jobs. So this is the tool I use. Very scientific looking, isn't it? You know it's real when you can do this. If it wasn't real, could no okay uh, come on all right back to work so pd optical center height let's get your lenses out this is marked the right lens take it out of the protective sleeve of course yeah we'll get to that we'll get to that let me get two blocks or i like to call them jenny from the block i'm gonna get two adhesive stickers of which i got them here uno dos trace Quattro. All right, now I'm, now I'm shooting blanks. All right, so I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet there. And get everything lined up as such. Make sure the lens is large enough. And it is. Double check everything. Make sure it's straight. Look at one other thing. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. I'm a perfectionist. I'm a perfectionist at least 20% of the time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, oh, by the way, that's a nice thing about Zeiss. They document everything. Although I noticed they got the wrong date on there. I ordered these on the 21st. That's almost like on the 27th when they started to get the mirror coating put on there. They put the date on there. But Zeiss labels everything. They document everything. So it's got you the prescription of your right eye. Minus one, minus a quarter at 120. Your bifocal strength. It's got the type of lens that it is. It's showing right the Zeiss Light D Digital. Freeform Progressive. Minus one, minus a quarter at 120. The bifocal strength. The DMB, which stands for DuraVision Mirror Blue. And same thing for the left. The Zeiss Light D left. Minus one sphere, the ad power, DuraVision medium blue. This is the right lens, the left, yeah, you guys saw that. So let me go ahead and take the left lens out, get everything lined up. Now they come with yellow paint on there. I always clean that off ahead of time and put the dots on there. Sometimes the dots get worn off and I'll go back to my layout chart, which I'll show you in just a moment. Same PD, same optical center height. Same bat channel, same, hang on, I got a new phone, it's telling me to order lenses for tomorrow. Order lenses and turn off the tent tank. Dismiss, I said dismiss. Look, y'all want to see something? There's my frame, the Christian eyewear. Ah, all right. Hang on, let me do this, yes. Yes, please, I've got the best postal carrier. Come on in, I might be doing a video exclamation point <laughs> everyone wants to complain about the postal service my guy comes by in the morning to drop stuff off he knows I ship he'll come by he has to go right by here on the way back to the post office so he stops and picks up all the packages and I just want to make sure to have those ready now what was I gonna do oh the left lens okay 33.5 I'm not sure I'm liking mine. It's the Samsung Note 9. And the reason I'm using a 5 now. Here's my old phone, the 5. With my buddy Coconut on there. Um, ah. I'm going to the 9. The reason why I do that, it still has the headphone jack. And I've got some Bose headphones. I like, ooh, <laughs> that I like to use. <laughs> 
time to upgrade my phone already but i'm not sure i like this one i may get a second note 5 i know that's defeatist i gotta learn how to use my new one who has time to go to youtube when i'm sitting there doing all these videos hit that button the arm comes down places the block onto the left lens now the other thing that zeiss does they give you an 8 by 11 piece of paper that's even more complete with the paper packets it's got the Zeiss Progressive Light D. It's got polycarbonate photofusion, the extra gray, the prescription of the right eye here, prescription of the left eye there next to R and L, strength of the progressive there. They also write it in plus cylinder. I do everything in minus cylinder, so that's why there's a minus one, minus a quarter versus minus one and a quarter plus a quarter. Different axes, your pupillary distance, even though we tweak that optical center height, you know what? I'm doing that at 27. I change that. The base curve of the lens over here to match the curvature of the frame. And being digital, it has the compensated both distance for right and left and the near, and it's got the engravings at the bottom. Those dots that I have on the lens goes over those engravings. It still says the light D59, which stands for the refractive index 1.59. And all of that now again if you guys missed any of that let me recap <laughs> i don't care if you guys don't laugh at that joke i'm gonna laugh when the clown gets to laugh at work it's a good day at work so all right so this is what's known as the edger this is what's gonna do all the work while i run my mouth it costs forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i tell everyone go out buy your own put it on your kitchen counter then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you the cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel on the left that's going to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size this wheel in the center is going to put the v-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame i want to wake it up job id number 2633 2633 or as I like to say, installment 2,633 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. Now watch episode number 330 million, because spoiler alert, something weird's going to happen. So, these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. My best one, to be determined. Some space-age materials coming out in the future, and this one will be ready for it. So, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate because I love me some poly. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens because it's not going to protrude from the frame, nor with the rear. But I'm still going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens, and I'll tell you why later. But I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Hit the green start button, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens will be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round, which it is doing, tracing the shape of the right lens. And going around measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know where to place the bevel for the least amount of edge thickness showing. Water will begin spraying in the background. That's there to catch the optical sawdust, which will be hot as it is ejected off the cutting wheel. Now, polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto those lenses for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now, water will spray onto these lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lenses. As I recap your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40 percent thinner and lighter than regular plastic they're virtually unbreakable these are high impact ballistic grade lens material the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel from flying debris it also has 100 percent uva and uvb protection built into the lens we know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin there in midvale utah this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. In fact, Zeiss has the most complete UV protection 
they have partnered with the American Cancer Society because of that. You're getting you get sunglass quality UV protection and a clear lens. Speaking of protection, you also get 50 to 70 percent blue light protection from Zeiss's photochromic extra active capabilities. You have the blue mirror on the front of the lens. You have the DuraVision Sun anti-glare on the back surface. And of course the photo fusion in the middle so you lose nothing. This gives you the most complete protection of any lens. And as I was saying, it also, the reason why Zeiss partnered with the American Cancer Society because it goes up to 400 nanometers, the light waves that it goes through. Most everyone else, the industry standard is 380 nanometers. Nano, nano. Going old school again. Zeiss goes up to 400. Now, you have the blue flash coating on the front of the lens. I still have my Transitions Gray with Crizal Sapphire in here. So, all anti-glares and mirrors have some reflex. That's the amount of reflection you see while it's like that. So, the mirror coatings are almost like an anti-glare coating on steroids. Ooh, it's almost done. It's almost done. Let's see if it fits first time around. In just a moment, I'm going to open this door with my mind. No, 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 no. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours, but I can do it. The other thing I want to do while it's out, I want to clean that R off the lens. I don't like using the, the chemicals when it is near the frame. So let's see if it fits first time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corners, pressing down at the nose. And you know what? It will, but I want to take it down another tenth of a millimeter so that years from now, should you ever need new lenses, you can pop these out and put the new ones in. Since Robert's my buddy and all. And actually, he told me to use his whole name, Robert Tenorio. I said, dude, there's some wacky people on the internet. You're not afraid? He's like, man, there's a ton of people with that name. They ain't going to find him. I'm going to have to go hang out and chill with my buddy Robert so nobody will find us. Actually, I do want to go to Utah so bad. I was almost going to go a few years ago, and it didn't happen. But they have four national parks out there. And, of course, being put on the spot, I cannot think of them. Let's see. I, I can always do three. There's Bryce. There's Arch. I think, that, yeah, Grand Canyon is that one, Disneyland, Everglades, <laughs> Wait. Great, Great Wall of Utah, wait, that'll be over here, um, what's number seven, Eiffel Tower, is that a national park? Yeah, Eiffel Tower National Park in Utah, I'll go there, so, okay, so Arches, Bryce, man, I can't think of it, but anyway, it's a beautiful state, the sunsets out there are incredible. It's one of my favorite things. I love watching the sunset and sunrise every day that I get a chance to do it. Dry everything off again. Let's see if it fits a little easier where it snaps right in. Tuck it in the outside corner, push down. Oh yeah, now it snaps in easier. Let me flip that over to L, which is Latin for not right. Now that we know that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean that L off. So we don't have that issue before. Hit the start button, just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. Actually, I usually say I put it in the chuck, but this time I'm putting it in the Robert. It's gonna go around trace the shape of the left lens this time. Measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which Robert you got nothing. You got no edge thickness there. So let me pop this off, pull the sticker away come down here to my dusty and trusty Marco 101 lensometer put it in over that black dot turn the power drum to 120 read the power and I'm getting oh good what a relief minus one exactly halfway between zero and two that's where you're gonna find one Robert is nearsighted that's why there's a minus sign next to that everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1. So he's on the fourth rung of the ladder with his glasses off. 
everything is larger than it needs to be, but to see far away, we have to... <coughs> All right, that's not a Corona cough, but um, I have to specify that now. So he needs four steps of minification to see far away. Now, he has one step, the smallest amount of astigmatism correction you can have in the right eye, none in the left. It's completely spherical. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob. So he has a minus one this way on the X meridian, a minus a quarter this way, which is slightly steeper than this one. So it's curved that way. That's how we line those two curves up. And we're going to do it to the 120th meridian. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to go just past the 90 meridian to 120. So let's check the second curvature. With the next set of lines will come into focus. And we're at minus 1 and a quarter. How did we get there? Someone borrowed a dollar from you, then they borrowed another quarter. They would owe you a dollar and a quarter. That's where at 1 and a quarter in the red. Now your left eye, you only need four steps of far-sided correction. Now, the 125 that's here means in addition to. So, Robert, I would guess, is in his early 40s. We call bifocals the 40-year 40 40 year virus. Or actually, maybe a little later, because he is nearsighted. He can see up great close. Now, he could always take his glasses off to read. But that's why he needs the progressive built into the bottom of the lens. So he doesn't have to take his glasses off. Essentially, it makes it plus a quarter. When you add these two together, so it has one step stronger of reading than it does for distance. Now, this frame, the Ray-Ban 4105 Folding Wayfarer, sells for 150 The Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens and Polycarbonates sells for $149.99. The Photofusion Extra Gray is $129.99. And the Blue Flash Mirror, of course, you can choose from silver, gold, green, or blue, is $69.99 for a total of $499.97 tax-free. The reason why I point that out now in all my videos is a lot of people have to sell, well, who sell on the internet have to charge tax. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax collected on medical devices in my state. So that's why I don't have to charge tax. Now, my state sales tax, do I have a calculator? Do I have a calculator? No, okay. So, 500 times 7, actually 7.5, I can do that. 7.5, 15, 30. So, because it's 500, he would owe another $45 in tax. And because you're buying, is that right? 10% would be 49. Yeah, so 70, so yeah. $45 in tax if you were to buy these same glasses at the same prices, which I doubt you will find anywhere on the internet. You would still have to pay another $45 on top of that because you did not buy from me. So I'm always tax free. I'm always offering free shipping. I'm always offering these splendid videos that are so stimulating. It's for the wife and kids. And after you watch these videos, you'll love your father even more. You'll become closer as a family. And by the way, all my lenses starting tomorrow will be mercury and radioactive free. But that's tomorrow, so stay tuned and watch that. <laughs> These, but the lenses are um, very low in sodium, um, high in fiber, and they, um, they're gluten-free. That's what you, Hey, Robert, these are gluten-free, so you don't have to worry about any glutens out there. All right, so let's check the power of this lens. And we're getting minus one all over the lens so all right so this is what i've done is called final inspection by the way i am a licensed optician here in north carolina with over 21 years experience i've personally cut handcrafted hand cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses so this is called i'm doing the inspection i'm now going to inspect the prescription now i'm going to inspect the pupillary distance 33.5 in both eyes for a total of 67 optical center height of 27 so let's do that i'm going to turn the card around place the pd stick against my thumb and then we're going to read the dot on the left lens and we're getting 67 millimeters so that is cut perfectly, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the thick, deepest part of the frame. 27 millimeters. Look at that. 27. Man, the kit is good. The reason why I originally said 24 when I ordered these is that that's generally the accepted seg height for optical center height for the 50 eye size. But I'm doing the 54. This one's deeper, so I need to raise it up. 
That's right, I know what I'm doing. 20% of the time. <laughs> I think that line rod and burgundy was sex tiger. Was that the name of that cologne that smelled awful? But it had a 70% effective rate, which means that 70% of the time it works every time. <laughs> Who writes stuff that good? Now, I think that's funny, but even me with my bad math, that is clever. Something that is 70% effective. works 100% of the time, 70% of the time. So, all right. So this is what your lenses look like before I have done anything to them. This is the indoor natural color. You see the blue anti, I'm sorry, the blue mirror color on back and the front. Now the cool thing when I activate these, you'll see the greenish DuraVision Sun anti-glare coating on the back surface of the lens. But I'm going to, oh, you know what I need to do first? I need to make sure these are in standard alignment. Now, Robert, when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, I'm part of that 80%. When I say wobble, when I take mine off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Now, I'm wearing the Ray-Ban 2132 New Wayfair color 6053, the blue crystal, to match my blue and crystal that I'm almost always wearing. They don't make a folding version of the New Wayfair. If they did, I would be rocking that in a heartbeat. But, oh, almost put yours on. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip this over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge. If one was tighter than the other, I would loosen the tighter one. I would tighten the looser one until they were matching. Now, I send out a selfie request in every package. Robert, I would love to have two selfies. One with you clear indoors, one with these blue when you're outside. I also send out cleaning instructions, not only on your frame and lenses, but for the Ray-Ban cleaning cloth, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, and for your case, so it too will last you for years. Nobody, no one else on the internet does that, I have been told. These things are so smooth now, they slide off when the machine's working, so I have to put that one underneath so it stays up there. And as you can see, I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship to make sure that it works. So, Rob, it when you get this in the mail and you see a wrinkle in there, you know that it works. Don't tell me you can't clean your lenses with it because I've already done it. So, I'm going to go ahead and activate these, meaning I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of UV light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, this is important. Everyone pay attention. All lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years of maximum performance. The only time that the photochromic and transition generation 8 lenses don't work is if you're in your car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. That's why they don't turn dark in a car. Look at that. Look at that. Man, that blue mirror is tough. It is tough. Now, when you look out, you see the gray. When people look at you, they see that blue mirror. And these Zeiss lenses have the most complete mirror coating on there. Compared to the previous lenses I used to cut, where I'd have to move them back and forth, where at a certain angle you would actually see the blue mirror. These are so complete, just like a sunglass lens. I can see myself that... Who is that really handsome guy with the GoPro camera on his head that's uh, on your lens? But, in fact, when uh, Robert looks in the mirror wearing these, he's going to see someone more handsome than me. But, hey, you know, that's, that's the way the cards I was dealt. But, as I was saying, the, the only time photofusion transition lenses won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. And that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Having said that, these extra active will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, the other thing about photochromic transition lenses are temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 
95 or 100 and above but I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works 100 percent when it's 100 degrees outside we all work much better when it cools off now I did expose them to two strong bursts of ultraviolet light so while that is lightning lightening I want to go ahead and show you the one I'll be doing next his next video which will have his Oakley 8149 Pitchman R Carbon Frame, color 03, the polished clear. Same as I love that silver on the side because it matches my silver wisdom highlights. And I should have gotten it with the silver mirrored lens. Maybe I will on my next go round. But this video will be done next week, so stay tuned for that. Plus, Robert is getting another frame that I designed as part of my Mexico eyewear collection. I'll make sure that. Uh, but you have, if you guys want to see that, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel for Mexico Eyewear. I've started to design my own frames. I have the Christian collection coming out next. My a very good friend of mine married a woman from Monterey, Mexico. As he was moving away, they actually moved to Texas. But as he was moving away, he challenged me to learn Spanish in um, he even recently, when I told him I wanted to design frames, he said, dude, would you make a frame that has the flag of Mexico on one side and have it say Mexico in the, on the side? In fact, I thought about it. I did the three colors of the flag. I did green, white, and red, or you can just get it all white on the side of that frame. But as a favor to him, I designed those and I started to design more and more. Now, the Christian eyewear that I have coming out that has a metal cross on the side. In fact, where are they? Where are they? Here's D's. These Christian eyewear, this has the metal embedded into the frame where it's practically flush. The other ones, they can just, just like this Ray-Ban logo that's embedded into the frame. The other ones they painted on, which they could do quicker. They had to change the mold, and that's why these took longer. But these are coming. These are coming. You can get them with a silver or a gold cross. And, of course, you'll have a matching color. If you get a gold cross, you'll have gold here. This is model number John 316. And... Man, this, this frame reminds me of something. I just, I wish I could figure out what it was. I just, I can't just think exactly what frame this reminds me of. But maybe it'll come to me. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see. But, yeah, so these have lightened up quite a bit since I've been talking. But do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and lenses as they become available. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. If you have any questions about what I can or can't do, just go to the Contact Me page of the website. You can also leave a comment in the comment section below. For Robert in Midvale, Utah, thank you so much for the purchase of the Ray-Ban 4105 folding. Whoops. Wayfarer in size 54 in color 601 classic shiny black with your Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the photo fusion extra gray and the blue flash mirror. The first of many frames that he says he's going to get from me. He has his own Ray Ban 2132 new Wayfarers. Why am I picking this up when I said that? But he wants lenses only for that frame, which I'll send him. I'm going to do my Mexico eyewear. I'm going to do this Oakley frame for him. And, uh, that's it, and by now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.